Welcome back. Right now, it is my great pleasure to bring on one of my most incredible graduates. And they're all great, but this one here is just like over the top. I, I don't know anyone who's, who can work like 18 jobs at the same time, <laughs> like this man can. He's really incredible. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Matthew Mungle. My goodness, are you a workhorse or what? Try. How many shows are you working on right now? Five. Five shows. What are they? Can you remember? I don't know. <laughs> Can't remember. CSI, Las Vegas. Yes. NCIS. We do a few things on house, not at the moment, but yes. a new show called Eleventh Hour, which actually follows CSI yes. in the, on Thursdays, yes. and uh, starting on a new season of Tracy Ullman, oh State of God. the Union. So, oh, congratulations. Thank That's you. terrific. Thanks. And congratulations to you and your team for these wonderful ladies here. Yes. I believe you are the first makeup artist, I think, in the history. Mm -hmm of the Television Academy to win two Emmys at the same Emmy presentation. Is that correct? I think so. I think so. I think so. I think so. so if it, yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, Matthew, I mean, you've been doing something. You, you got the Academy Award with Greg Cannon mm -hmm. for Bram Stoker's Dracula. Mm -hmm. you, you, uh, you've been doing so many things. What's your favorite? What's the, if you were to pinpoint one, one job that you've done, now I know you're going to say, I love them all. But come on, there's got to be one that you just absolutely loved more than the others. Well, I think it was Bedazzled. Really? Yeah, with Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Because he was so great to work with, yeah. and, and we turned him into so many characters. Lots of characters. characters. Just, yeah, he was, he was really a great guy. Right, too, right, right. You know? do, you have, do you have tape of, of the work that you did? On, on Bedazzled. No, I did. I don't think I set up the camera for that. No. no. Uh -huh. He's been so great. Matthew has been so great. <laughs> um, he's been sending us, and I know that you're going to want to see these, and if you haven't seen them, go into our past weeks. Uh, Matthew has been so kind to be sending us actual videotapes of the work that he did as he was actually doing it. And um, they're s sensational. We've gotten so many people sending us emails thanking us for showing these tapes. It's an inspiration to makeup artists all over the world. Oh. And it's an inspiration to makeup students, right. you know, in all of the schools, not just my school, right. but in all the schools, you know, to see well, this. I think it's really important to share your knowledge, Absolutely. you know, if you're, if you're really passionate about it, you know, and that's what I really enjoy doing. Yeah, when did you first know you wanted to be a makeup artist? I was about 10 years old, I think. 10, yeah. Was there any one particular makeup that kind of just clicked that light bulb in your I head? Think it, I think it was probably Seven Faces of Dr. Lau. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bill I, just, I was just amazed at how Tony Randall became those characters. Right. You know? And then there was the list of Adrian Messenger, oh, you know, which yes. was incredible. Yes. You know, Johnny Chambers. All of those wonderful Bud West Yeah. And then, of course, Planet of the Apes came out in 1968, right. and that was that. I was hooked. Yeah. I was hooked. You know, the fat suit you did on House was it on House? On House, yeah. Tell us about that. That was remarkable. That was interesting. You were nominated. Yeah. Were you nominated? No, for that? no, you I weren't. You I should was, have been. I wasn't on the ticket for that, but uh, um, it was it was interesting. I mean, it, as television goes, it happens so fast. Mm -hmm. They call up, say, "We got a you know 600-pound man. We need you to do. You know, right. We're gonna we're gonna cast an actor and uh, who I actually worked with on Natural Born Killers, which it was great. So we knew each other. Yes. And so I got pictures of him. I started designing that. You know, and this all comes down in, in about you know less than two weeks that we have to get this done yeah, because television is so fast. Yeah. Every eight days is a new. Don't episode. you love it? Yeah, it's I do. Great. I do. It's constant. It really I don't think I would would be happy if I just had to work on one job. No, it's, it's so much. <laughs> it's so fascinating just to just to work all right. these things. Well, you've gotten but, so accustomed. He's gotten so accustomed to working all these jobs all at the same time. You have a remarkable crew. Yeah, incredible. You have a beautiful incredible. lab. Incredible. I couldn't have you know, done very very capable people yeah. that you know that follow direction very well. Oh. And yeah. uh, you know, so uh, that's that's half the game there. That's if you have a good is. crew, you know. It is. It is. So so. Um, 
Uh, now, television, television. Yeah. Now, to me, television is my favorite medium. Yeah. I love it because it's got it's fast, right. you know, right. and you have to perform very quickly. Right. It's like right. a combination of of a film and a live mm -hmm. stage, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, of 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 the, all the shows that you've done, and then obviously you're always asked to work very very quickly. Sure. Uh, are, are there any films that have also required, you know, that you create a prosthetic appliance very very fast, or or to design something I, I, as quickly as you do for television? I think recently they're all getting that way, mm -hmm. you know, and the the budgets are going down lower, and the actors right. are taking more, and the crews are getting less, you yes. know, <laughs> they're more producers, and they ask you to do work faster. Yes. I mean, it's not like the, the you know, 10 years ago it was. Yes. Because it's just the turnover is faster and yes. faster, you know. And I, I think it's it, it's constantly that, like that. Yes. I'm getting ready to do an old age on an actor and, you know, they called up two weeks ago and said, oh, we're going to do this, but we don't have the green light, you know, and I just got the green light the other day. Right. And now we only have about a week and a half to do it. And it's like, well, we can't do a sculpting. So we have to pull all stock pieces and do it, right, which I right. really enjoy doing. Right. You know, like try, trying to make it, work, make it work. Make it work, you know, with it. Yeah. That's the challenge. And I think television, going back to that subject, recently has been, in the, maybe the past 10 years, has brought the film industry into television because television television's got to keep up with cable mm -hmm. you know all of the media all the other mediums and try to pull the audience in that would normally go out and see a movie right. so i think they're getting more sophisticated with everything they're doing yeah absolutely you know are, are you with cg with more makeup effects are you finding that they're they're working that you're able to work more quickly and perhaps less meticulously because they can come in afterwards and they can clean up your edges? No, or I never liked it. Are you a I, still I, a perfectionist? Still a perfectionist on it yeah. to a point because right. you've got to get that actor out. You've got to right. get that makeup out. Right. You've got to get that body out. But as, doesn't as it drive possible. you crazy? It, it, drive, it would drive me crazy to do You know, because we, 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 we come from a world, <laughs> we come from a world where, you know, the makeup, you know, yeah. has to look terrific. It has to be done. You yeah. can't see the edges. You know, it's got to be flawless. It used to have to be absolutely flawless. Yeah. Nowadays, in, in some instances, yeah. you know, they'll say, just put it on, don't worry about it, we'll fix it in post. That would drive me crazy. The, you bring I couldn't the, take it out on stage. You bring, I know, but you bring out that fat makeup on house. I think I heard they had to do uh, up to around 300 uh, touch-ups on it. Really? Because the makeup was done so fast Quickly, and it was yeah. just so big and broad, yeah. you know, that they, you know, there were certain things that the arm would slip out and they'd have to go in and touch it up. Right, I mean, right. things happen. Yeah, and and they know that these days, right. that, that you know, and CSI is such a great show to work on yeah. because it's a well-oiled machine. Mm -hmm. Everybody's just knows what pressure everybody else is under, right. and it's always this give and take. Yeah. You know, I'll get a call early about you know an upcoming episode. We've got a big makeup to do and stuff like that, mm -hmm. so we can kind of get working, but we don't have the actor right. until the last minute. Right. So it, it does it matter? Right. No. You know, you know, you, you you had such success, and it hasn't gone to your head. You are still today, very down to earth, very sweet, very kind. You know, a, a real gentleman. And sometimes that isn't the case with people who win so many awards as you have. Well, it's not. You know, my my theory is it's not in the moment. It's my my theory is looking ahead. Right. And you know, you burn a bridge, it's going to come back to kick you. Right. You know, right. and bite you. Right. you are, know, are you award driven? No. Not at all. I never got in this business to saying that, oh, I'm going to win the Academy Award. It, that was never, you know, mm -hmm. never my, my choice. My choice was because I love, I have a passion right. for makeup. Right. Whatever it is, I have a passion for makeup. Coming up with new ways of doing things faster, you know, construction, going back to construction right. makeup, you know. Mixing. You don't you don't have to sculpt a piece just for that, you know, or pull a piece over here. And I can, you know, with third degree, all the silicones and right. stuff these days, it's just so great to just throw it together right. and, and make it work, right, you know? Right. You, you, you know? You're finding that the construction, see, that's why I still teach construction makeup. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it, yes, it's a historic yeah. 
yeah. old fashioned right. way, but it's still part of the program because it's an exercise that I feel really, on, in a pinch, comes yeah. in handy. I think it's more important today than it is, it was a few years ago because, mm -hmm. because now they work so fast. They're faster, right? They're f so fast, and you've got to think on your feet then, mm -hmm. you know. You, you have an actor, a director that, that asks you to do something, you go, wait just a minute, you go around the corner and you say, God, how am I going to do that? Come back here. Oh, got it for you. You know, right, right. you know. Just give me two seconds. Just think about that. What's the secret to being a good department head? I mean, what is if you were to single it down to one area, what would that be? I, I think try try to try to utilize and work with all the departments. Mm -hmm. You know, be very conscientious about what you're doing around with them, you know, never single, oh, our department's the only one that matters, you know, oh, no, <laughs> it's all of these departments that have to come together, right, you know, absolutely. And, and being as nice as you possibly can to people, right. never saying no, you know, I have, I still have the, the costumers on CSI coming up to me and said, we love you because you never say no. It's always, you know, and you're always filling us in. That the producers never right. fill us in the stuff. And you're, uh, we got an episode coming up, and now we're going to do this, you know. Right. And, and you know, it's working together with right. people, exactly. You know, yeah. and always, it, they're as professional as you are. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know, in the past, in the past, uh, the hairdressers were subordinate to the makeup artists, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it isn't that way anymore. No, no it's not that way anymore. And, and, and also, a lot of makeup effects people these days think that their department is completely separate yes. from the makeup department yes. and stand alone. It's like, no. not the way it is. No. You, when I first get a job and, uh, on, in makeup effects on a, on a film, I'll, I'll ask the producer, who's the, your department head? And I'll, I'll hang up the phone and I'll call that department head. By the way, I've been hired by the producer and the director to, to work with you on this film, and we're working with this together. You know, right. the, and, and ingratiate them right. to to a collaborative right. effort. You make them feel you know? comfortable. You oh, let them absolutely. know that you're, you're, you're a nice and guy. And vice versa. Right. You know, right. it, it's very, very important to do that. You you alienate people at the very beginning. Right. Your life is going to be miserable. And the, the television, the film industry is so difficult anyway. Why make it even worse? Yes. You yes. know. To what degree do you participate in production meetings? Um, with the cinematographer and uh, uh, and or the lighting designers all the time. Every meeting we go to, like for CSI, we'll have our um, preliminary makeup meeting yes. and visual effects meeting kind of combined. Do you so find, we all talk, talk to each other? Yeah. Do you find that they're allowing you now more so now? That you've become more known and famous, and have you know gotten these wonderful awards, that they're listening to you more and permitting you Absolutely. to to direct them, perhaps Absolutely. with Absolutely. the placement of the lights or the camera placement for specific yep. makeups, their prosthetic makeups or aging makeups that need to be lit a certain way. No, absolutely. They, they, they. I think everybody goes on the internet these days right. and looks up your resume before right. they start working with you, right. or you know, right. and they hear about you and and it, it's a collaborative effort right. there. and they and they you know I think I, I think I really came into it also when when I turned 50 uh, my partner you John turned Jackson, 50 you're 50 yeah I'll be 52 well, I'm doing this year wrong. I'll be 52 this year so. you look like um, you're, you're in your <laughs> very early 40s or late 30s but my partner John made Jackson, you up? Said, hey, well, exactly. I want that it's makeup just anti shape <laughs> He said, you know, and he's a year older than I am, he said, you know when you turn 50, there's that, that point when you wake up that morning and it's like, you know, I've come to this point right now and I deserve this, you know. Right. So you get a little bit more kahunis, you know, right. think, you know, I think, you know. And, and people, other people bloom faster than other people, you yes. know, and I think that was my turning point and I have more voice yes. with things, yes. you know, and say, well, it could be done this way. But not, again, isolating people and yes. saying, we're going to do it this way. Yes. How, sh how can we work this out? How do you feel how when they call your out? name to win? Yeah. It's an honor. 
it's an absolute honor. It's a privilege, you know, to be bo voted by your peers. I mean, that's the best part of right. it, you know. We're going to talk more about this okay. in just one minute. Don't go away.